of earth is burning and main reason for this is increase in the concentration of greenhouse gases. Sadly, to our attention, carbon dioxide makes for almost 80% of the total greenhouse gases, mostly coming from industrial process and combustion of fossil fuel. An immediate solution to this problem is carbon dioxide free energy source like solar and wind energy, which are now greatly contributing to our energy demand. But unfortunately, these renewable sources fails to stand out in terms of time dependent availability that we are used to from fossil fuel derived energy, thereby leaving an important question to be addressed. When sun doesn't shine or wind doesn't blow, where will our energy come from? Second alternative to this problem is carbon dioxide capture and storage, but either they are very expensive or inefficient. We are in desperate need for a solution to counter climate change through storage of energy from renewable sources and reutilization of carbon dioxide to meet our future energy demand. Electrochemical conversion of carbon dioxide to fuel stands out to be a winning approach. It is easily controlled and scalable, works under normal temperature and pressure. Isn't it interesting? A gas causing global warming will be a future source of energy. I was amazed by this idea. But the bottleneck of this method is high requirement of energy to break down this small and stable carbon dioxide molecule. My project focuses on development of catalyst which will lower this energy required and drive the conversion of carbon dioxide to fuel. What could be a better motivation to design a catalyst than the nature itself? So we focus our attention on metal porphyrins as a potential catalyst. Such molecules present in chlorophyll is known to do the magic as you all know, converting carbon dioxide into energy through a very well-known process called photosynthesis. So we design such molecules and modified part of it. Such molecules when used as a catalyst has lowered the energy to break down the carbon dioxide to almost half with increasing catalytic activity. Such an amazing approach. My work will greatly contribute towards moving away from our reliance on fossil fuel. The carbon dioxide which is generated from the combustion of the fuel will be recycled back to the fuel thereby closing this carbon cycle and making earth